Hey guys, it's Love Saloon here, and today I'm going to show you how to create this super awesome arch bridge bracelet. This bracelet here is a variation created by Suzanne HB, also on Instagram as Crazy Just Might Work. Um, the variation is actually off of her own design, which was the blaster bolt. Um, that is also on my tutorial or on my YouTube so you can see that tutorial as well. Um, but again, this is her variation called the Archbridge Bracelet. I think it's super awesome. I just love how like the sides look too, like with the bands going up. And then like in the middle, you can see like the color like popping through, but not like a whole lot. You just see it popping through a little bit so I think that looks super awesome here is a little teeny tiny piece that I did with the uh, Persian bands on top and you can get a side view so I just think that looks super awesome so yeah to make this bracelet it did take approximately 120 bands depending on your wrist size and without further ado let's get to make this bracelet you need one loom one C clip and your hook you also want to have your loom set up in a stagger position like so. We are going to be working with five pins, just like the uh, regular blaster bolt, if you've seen that. It's going to be one, two, three, four, and five. I like my arrows facing in the right direction. And I'm going to be using silicone hot pink, uh, jelly, the dark jelly purple, and regular green. I think it's the neon green. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start laying just two vertical bands without any twisting. The color that we are laying on these pins right here are going to be what shows up on the bottom of your bracelet. So now that you've laid your two vertical bands without any twisting, we have to lay two horizontal ones going across. And this is going to be the band that comes up on the sides of your bracelet. So I'm going to use my silicone pink. Just lay one from that pin to that pin and then one right next to it like that. We're going to add a cap band onto that middle pin and that needs to be triple capped. So you can do it directly on your loom or you can place it on your hook which is what I'm doing and then you can place it on. So again that is a triple cap band there. So, um, this is a little different, done a little differently than the original blaster bolt. So, just in case you've seen that one, just make sure you pay attention to these directions. What we're going to do is bring these back uh, bands forward. So, I'll start on the left. We're just going to cross that over, bringing it forward, doing the same on the right side. Bring that forward. Now what we want to do is bring the very bottom band up and over to create like that slip knot effect. Doing the same on the right side, just grab the bottom band from the outside and bring it up. Just like that. Now that we've done that, we're going to go inside this cap band and bring the pinks back to themselves. So going inside the middle triple cap band, grab the top band. Bring it to the right, just don't lose that cap band. Go back inside that cap band, grab the next band and bring it to the left. Just like that. Now we're going to make a slip knot effect on these two as well. So you're just going to grab that very bottom band on the right side, bringing it up and release, coming over to the left side. Doing the same thing, bringing that bottom band up and release. Push your bands down just a little bit because we're going to remove this cap band and you don't want your bands to pop off. So you can just reach around the back and carefully just slide that cap band up and just sit it in the front. Now you can push them down a little bit more. And we're going to go ahead and add on our next layer. I'm just going to zoom in a tiny bit. So I'm going to lay my two vertical bands again. Just like that. And now we're going to cross them with our horizontal bands, which is my pink. Just 
we're going to put our triple cap band onto that middle pin. So make sure you wrap it three times. Oh, mine was getting away from me. Once you add your triple cap band, we're going to cross these vertical bands back over. So just make sure you have room on the front here. I'm going to start on the left, bringing that forward. Doing the same on the right side, grabbing that band and bringing it forward. We still need to do the same thing that we did last time, which is create that slip knot effect, but we now have three bands on there, so make sure you're grabbing the middle band, and bringing that up, because that's the band that's part of this band, and it creates that slip knot effect. Do the same on the right side, just grab that second band and bring it up. On these front two pins, we're not going to do anything else this time because there's only two bands. But once we get three bands, we will always bring the bottom up as well. But we won't start that until the next layer. So we're going to go ahead and proceed with our looping. So we're now going to go inside our triple cap band. And we're going to loop the pink. So grab the very top band and bring that to the right. Go back in the cap band, grab your next band, and bring that to the left. So just like we did on the front, we have to create that slip knot effect, but we also need to bring the bottom band up as well. Now this part is very important because you can grab both bands, mine are a little twisted here, you can grab both bands at the same time. However, it is very important that this middle band is first and that this bottom band lays behind it. That bottom band lays tighter, so we need that looser one inside. So you can grab both of the bands and bring them up like that. You just have to make sure that that looser one is always on the inside of that tight band because it makes a dramatic difference on how it looks um, from the side view and in general because I did it without realizing that mattered and it looked completely different. So just make sure that that middle band is always here. I'll go over that again when we come back around to it. For now we're going to go ahead and pop off the center push down your bands, and we're going to go ahead and add on our next layer. So going back to my green, we're going to lay our vertical bands again. Now we're going to cross them with our two horizontal. We're going to place our triple cap band on the middle pin. Like so. Now we're going to cross our vertical bands, bringing them forward. Now they are our four bands on the pins. We have to make sure that we do the slip knot effect. So you have to grab that second band, bring it up, do the same on the right pin, grabbing the second band and bring it up. Remember, it makes that slip knot effect there. And now, and going forward, we need to also loop the very bottom band. So just bring that very bottom band up on both fronts. It's a little bit loose, but don't worry. You can just push it down a little bit. And now we're going to go ahead in the triple cap band and loop at our pinks again. So go in the triple cap band, pushing them out of the way, grab the very top band, don't lose that cap band, bring that to the right, go back in and bring it to the left. We're going to do the same thing again like I was saying, just a, whoops, sorry about that. What I was saying just a minute ago is you have to make sure that this second band goes first and then bring up the bottom band. 
Doing the same on the left side. Like I said, you can bring them both up at once, but you just got to make sure that bottom band is always on the outside. Go ahead and pop that cap band off, put it in the front, push down, and we're going to do that again. So we laid our two vertical bands. And now we're just going to layer two horizontal bands. Push it down. Add on your triple cap band. We are going to bring our vertical bands forward. Now you have to bring that second band up and over. And now bring the very bottom band up and over. Go in your triple cap band. Loop the top to the right. And the other one to the left. So this time I'm just going to grab both at once, but I'm going to do it slowly. See, I even did that slowly and it still got kind of jumbled. That's why I don't normally do it like that. So just make sure that bottom band is on the outside, which I know I've said a million times already. Okay. So I'm going to continue to do it one at a time so I can make sure it comes out right. And now you can pop off the center. It will start to get a little jumbled in here so you can just like push it down with your clip or hook. And just let it squeeze through your pins. You can definitely pull on it, when it once it gets long enough. But that is what you do, so I'm just going to continue. I definitely think it's pretty straightforward and easy. I'm just going to continue doing it silently and you can certainly follow along. Whoops. cap bands coming off, which you do not want to happen, <laughs> so be careful with that.
too quiet. I need some music. Okay. So, that is what you do. You can keep pushing it down in between those pins. Give it a little pull down here underneath. This is actually the back side of it here. And the front side is over here. So, I love this bracelet. I think it's super, super cute. When you're done, you can always, like, stretch it out a little bit more so you can see the inside a little bit better. But it's coming along great. I'm going to go ahead off camera and finish up the length of my bracelet and then we'll come back and close it up together. So if you have any problems, just watch the previous instructions and I will be right back. Alrighty guys, so I did go ahead and finish up the length of my bracelet. So let's go ahead and get it closed up together. Um, you just want to make sure that you have like everything looped as you would have been doing like for the last step. So if you did that, you will just have two bands on these two back pins and then two bands on the front pins. All we are going to do is bring these two back pins or bands to the front pins. So I'm just going to grab the right band, bring that forward, and grab the back band and bring that forward. Just place it back on the pin like so. We're just going to lay one band straight across these two pins here. Just like that. And now we'll bring all the bottom bands up and over. So there should be three of them. Here we go. Okay, so I'm just going to grab the top one first and then the bottom two because it was giving me a little bit of trouble. And now i got to bring the right side over. Or the left side. <laughs> Pretty simple. Now just bring the left side to the right. And this is where we will attach our C-clip. So just slide your hook down in there. Grab your C-clip. And pop it on. And now you can remove it from the loom. Pull it all the way through. Well, without breaking it. <laughs> Give it a nice stretch. Now, different bands are going to give it a different look, but I just want to show you the side look. I think that looks really cool. And this is how she came out with the name. Like, if you look at it like this, it reminded her of, like, an arch bridge. And that's exactly what it reminded me of when I looked at it, so I thought it was pretty cool that she named it that. But coming on the other side, it's super easy to close because you have this cat band already kind of sticking at the end here. And you can just clip your C-clip onto that. Like so. And there you have the completed Arch Bridge Bracelet created by Suzanne HB also on Instagram as Crazy Just Might Work. You definitely want to check her out and give her a follow if you have not already done so because she is super amazing. So you can like pull it like this a little bit if you want to see the inside a little bit more. I love how you can see it like a little bit not like a lot. I just think it's like a really different and unique look and I know my camera is like super close so there you have it. If you like this video please give it a big thumbs up. This is a variation from the blaster bolt if I did not mention that already which is also Suzanne's original design um, but you can check her out well, I already think I already said that, but you can check her out at Crazy Just Might Work on Instagram, and you can check me out at Love Saloon on Instagram. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you at my next video. Thanks so much. Bye.